Found some. Get in the boat, boy. Still want me to tie it to the boat? Father? What? Did something change? The forest feels different. Yeah. Everything is different, boy. Try not to dwell on it. Yes, sir. That was the last. Mother, do I see my mother? Hello there, do I see my father? Hello there, do they call to me? Hello 
other did they call to me? 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 She's ready. Find your way home. You are free. Sorry. Squeeze. This knife. It was hers. Now it is yours. She taught you to hunt. She knew. Show me. Now? Now. What are we hunting? You are hunting deer. Which way? In the direction of deer. Okay. Uh, this way. Father, why are we doing this now? I need to know you can survive the journey. Then we leave for the mountain? Depends on you. Hunt. What did you find? Tracks. Not deer, though. I'll keep looking. More tracks? Yeah. But they're too round. Could be a wild boar. Good. Now what? This way, boy. Hup. Oh. Wait, deer tracks. They're fresh. This way. Down, boy. Sorry. You are hunting deer, not chasing it. Yes, father. Ah! 
He broke our bridge. How are we gonna get across? Step aside. Sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Find it. <clears throat> Find it. Frogger. They've never come this close to our woods before. Keep moving. Should we be in here? Here's this way. I can see more tracks. Or we can follow you. Mind the edge, boy. Gonna see what's up ahead. Up there! You went in the old temple. But Mom told me never to go in there. We do what we please, boy. No excuses. <sighs> Can I have my bow back now? Can you hit it from here? We should get closer. I went hunting with Mother a bunch of times. He never wanted to take me. Why now? It was her wish. And it was time.
throws it in place. Clever. Atreus, I'm here. So... Look here. Oh, look! It's Skull and Hati, the giant wolves who chased the sun and moon. Where did they come from? How did they get up there? What's happening there at the end? They eat the sun and moon? And then everybody fights? Wait for my mark. Relax. Do not think of it as an animal. It is simply a target. Clear your mind. I got it! Good. It's... Get control of yourself, boy! Knife. No. Finish what you started. I can't. Yes! <laughs> 
so horrible. I can heal. We're gonna fight that? We have no choice. Okay, just tell me when to shoot. Look at me, boy! Boy! Look at me! We did it. You are not ready. What? Are you serious? I found the deer. I proved myself! How am I not ready? We are going home. I haven't been sick in a long time. I can do this. You are not ready. I am ready. Do not speak again. The path home is this way. Uh oh. Still can't get the doors open, huh? Quiet. I told you something was different about the forest. And I told you not to speak. But why would a fire troll burn Mother's garden? And since when are drawbers so close to the house? And what was that frozen thing that attacked us? I do not know. Now be silent. We are almost home. Inside, boy.
not fair. You lost control. That thing was trying to kill us. It's not like you don't get anger in a fight. Anger can be a weapon. If you control it, use it. You clearly cannot. When you I haven't been sick in a long time. I'm better now. Fine. Come on, then. You want me to hit you? I want you to try. Ow! What are you... Try again. Why are you doing that? Too slow. Try again. Cut it out! Weak. Again. Again! Stop it! Again! <gasps> in it. The path ahead is difficult. And you, Atreus, are clearly not ready. What was that? Quiet. Come on out! There's no use hiding anymore. I know who you are. What's going on? Do you know him? More importantly, I know what you are. Boy, beneath the floor. Now. But you told me never to go down there. Who is that? I do not know. What's he talking about? I do not know. Get in. Just tell me what I want to know. No need for this to get bloody. Be bigger, but you're definitely the one. Long way from home, aren't you? What do you want? Oh, you already know the answer to that. Whatever it is you seek, I do not have it. You should move on. <laughs> and here I thought your kind supposed to be so enlightened, so much better than us, so much smarter. And yet you hide out here in the woods like a coward. You do not want this fight. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. <gasps> Leave my home. You are going to have to kill me for that to happen. I warned you. Finally. You would not listen. How incredibly disappointing. Come on, then. Point. Two beds in struck a nerve, did I? No. 
never have come to Midgard. So, care to try again? You talk too much. <laughs> You won't talk? Fine. Maybe whoever it is you've got stashed in that house will. Who is it? Who are you afraid of? Fine. Let's find out. So soon? Your struggle is pointless. It didn't have to be this way. Pathetic! You can't win! I feel nothing! But you, you feel everything, yet you, you keep trying! I'm not my brother! And if you'd given me what I wanted, it wouldn't have ended this way. But no. <sighs> Let's finish this. Who was he? 
He knew me. Did he know my past? How did they find me after all of this time? Faye, what do I do? Our son is not ready to carry your ashes to the top of the mountain. And neither am I. I do not know how to do this without you. But we cannot stay here. so much I I thought you're all right I am all right come <sighs> gather your things we are leaving thought I wasn't ready you are not we have no choice now Prove me wrong. Yes, sir. The mountain. It's gonna be a long trip. Yes, but an important one. Whoa. How did this happen? Whoa. How did this happen? Was he? I do not know. What did he want with us? Or nobody's? Did you kill him? I did what had to be done. You could have died. Never leave me alone again. All right? All right. You've had to kill people before, haven't you? You're used to it. We do what we must to survive. Animals I get. They're food. Draugr, they're supposed to be dead. But people, they're trying to survive too. Close your heart to it. On our journey, we will be attacked by all manner of creature. Close your heart to their desperation. Close your heart to their suffering. Do not allow yourself to feel for them. They will not feel for you. I understand. Has this been here all this time? Why don't you help me up there? I can get a better look. Huh. Okay. Nowhere to go from here. Except across this bridge.
You can lower it from there. Go. Made it. Boy. Yes, sir. Father, will we see others on the road? Yes. Friendly? No. They'll try and rob us? Possibly. Yes. Oh. Look, all this time, there's been a protection stave around our entire woods. But the stave's broken there. Did you cut those down? She had marked the tree she wished used for her pyre. Why'd she do that? Come. No looking back now. So, how long will it take to get to the mountain? I do not know. Before winter falls? I do not know. Okay, okay. Show sure a lot of drugger around here!
How was that? Did I help? If you want to help, distract them. Whoever is not my focus should be yours, but only when safe to do so. I can do that. Look here. Sir. There's a Yetnar settlement ahead. Yetnar? Giants. You can read the writing. Some. Just the language his mother knew. But they're all sort of connected, so sometimes I can feel my way through stuff I shouldn't know. You know? your shots. Speed costs accuracy. Got it. Hey, I think there's a chest over there.
think we can go through here. Move. Thanks. There's the mountain! Let's go! Not yet. It's fine. See? Hang on! Hurry! I'm slipping! Stay calm! Almost there! That wasn't so bad. Slow down. Your haste will cost us. Sorry. Mm. Ugh, more drawler. But these aren't moving. Are they dead? I mean, more dead? Boy. Not dead, not dead! Remember, accuracy over speed. One. Was I better? Take even more time. Does not matter if you fire only once. Show me control. Look at this. <laughs> The giants used to gather here to trade with the gods a long time ago. Wonder if Odin was ever here. Whoa! Above us! Something's breaking through! Something's breaking through the wall! We will see. Stay close. What is that? Revenue. 
Never thought I'd see one of those. Still don't understand why that man attacked you at our house. I told you, boy. I know nothing more of it. What's that up there? Guess we need to get back up there. But how? Follow me. His name is Hrungnir. Mother told me about him. A giant warrior made of stone. Looks like he was in a pretty big battle. Odin's there. Thor. Even the world serpent. Oh. Thor must have smashed his head apart. See? But look. Hrungnir's body squished him. Idiot. Boy. Yes, sir. I've seen this language before. said people might try and rob us. I'll kill them if they try. I'm not afraid. If we encounter men, you will stay out of it. Understand? But I can fight. You will stay out of it, boy. Speak no more of this. I did it.
They were tough. Yet we are still here. All these dead. You think it's safe in there? You think it's safer out here? Oh, what's that smell? Now! Are they Hellwalkers? They're untouched. Look. Someone start the fires! Sigmund, you're nice. So many days without meat. Meat? <clears throat> Wait, us? Behind me. What if they change like the others? We'll have to keep them alive. Strip off their meat. A little at a time. This fight is mine alone. your heart to it. <laughs> Come then. We have a long Me. journey. <laughs> <laughs> They came back. It is finished. I want to leave here. Then collect yourself. We must find a way out. The chain. Here. Go drop the chain. Okay. Atreus, the chain. The chain, right. 
You are in your head, boy. Let it go. He would have killed you. I know, I had to do it. I didn't know that, I just... And we will go home, boy. What? To give up this easily. So close to the start. Wait, no! I'm not giving up. I can do this. I just have to, you know, catch my breath. Come on up. I'm ready. Listen to me. To be effective in combat, a warrior must not feel for his enemy. The road ahead is long and unforgiving. No place for a boy. You must be a warrior. I understand. Can't get this slow-eyed cock lump to cross the bridge. Hm. It's because she's scared of something in the trees over there. There's what now? Father, throw your axe at those trees on the other side of the bridge. The ones with the white trunks. <laughs> Smart or something, boy. You're a boy, aren't you? Ha! Does she have a name? I don't know. Rude bastard ain't ever asked mine, so I ain't ever ask hers. Ah! Ha! What's yours? Brock. Better look at. <laughs> Say, uh. You're not gonna believe me, but that axe you got, uh, it was me what made her. Me and my brother was one of our best. So don't let nobody else go work on her except for us two. Ah! You gotta handle her special, or she'll wreck beyond fixing. I can enhance her for you right now if it so pleases you, son of a bitch. So what say you? Ah! You are right. I do not believe you. Come, boy. There's a rune in the shape of a fork under the grip. No, digger beat ya, Dumber. That was our brand, my brother and me, before we split. I got half of it right here, see? Look, you want I should upgrade her or not? Very well. I expect an improvement. So, where's the other half of the brand? Oh, my dumb brother's got it. But I got all the talent. Look! Let's get you squared away, then. Scuff that up. Don't be too careful now. So 
something for the boy. Dirty stuff. Something else in mind? Happy suit. Looks good. Wear it proudly, you some bitch. Well, don't look now, but our friends who were hiding in the trees are back for more. Go on, give that axe a twirl. Got a movie behind there? <laughs> you see? You see what my touch sprung? Adequate. Adequate. You know what's adequate? That footwork, you stepping shit. Your paw can kill. You gonna learn to do that too? I'm not sure. This road. Leads to the mountain. Should put you in the right direction, sure. Want to see my wares again? Come. It was nice meeting you, Brock. I'll be thinking of a name for your beast. How about a name for fucking gratitude? Hey, fucking gratitude, come over here. I like it. You left me to fight alone. I did. People are one thing. Everything else you fight. Until I say stop or we are dead. Understand? Pull your weight and we go. I understand. Good then. Uh, uh, 
Wait there. Never been this close to the mountain before. Looks so big. Wish Mom was here to see it. Look at that. What is it? Boy. Look, there are runes written along the side. What does it say? As we are, we two, we three. As I alone can never be. A riddle. Hmm. Maybe there's a clue around here. Seems like maybe those rings should be turning. those runes say oh it says family that's not a clue it's the answer what i alone can never be right use your knife and trace the runes into the sand really kinslow something happened I'm happy with my Brock, but I'm happier we're leaving this place. It is behind us now.
coming up there. Boy, these tracks. Hmm. A boar, maybe? Not sure. But I'll find. Go. It is important for a warrior to keep his skills sharp. Focus up! That's over. What does it say? The rune symbolized the three Nornia. Nornia? The fates. The fates? No good comes from them. Wow. Shoot when you're ready. Remember, draw to your chest. The wild boar's height is thick. But I hit it, didn't I? I did what you said, and it looked like it bounced off. Could the boar be magical? Hmm. What do you think? It looked weirder than any boar I've ever seen. Get after it then. Stay alert. More of those people? Something else. Some of the bodies are those weird dead things. Must have been fighting.
Here. It ran under. I got it. Elbow up. Steady hand. Relax. Accuracy over speed. Yes! Well, do not lose it. Boy? Boy! Where are you? Hurry, Father! I found him! Please, hurry! Atreus! Wait for me, boy! Father, over here! Atreus! Where are you? What did you do? I'm sorry! Atreus! We didn't know he belonged to anyone. He doesn't. He's my friend. The boy was following my command. Then help fix this. Hold here, please. Hold, I said. He's losing blood. The last of his kind in all the realm, and you shoot him. You needed food? Target practice. Target practice? I'm... I'm so, so sorry. Keep that pressure on. The blame is mine. I should have kept a closer eye. Will he die? I will not let him. You. The arrow cut a tideway inside him. Find both ends and hold them tightly. Start with the left side. Grab it and hold. Now the right side. Hold it tight. Good. Now pull them together. Line them up. You're a witch. I can't finish the healing here. My home is just beyond the trees there. You will carry him. He must not die. Good. He seems stable and calm for now. Gray This way. That bow is a little big for you, isn't it? My mother made it for me. She said I'd go into it. I've never seen you in these woods. She must miss you being away from home. She... She's dead. We're taking her ashes to the highest peak in the realms. Ashes? It was her last wish. Boy. I'm... Sorry for your loss. We're here. You live in a tree? Not in it. Below it. Hemelay! Look! It's all right. Is he friendly? Boy. I promise you, he's safe. You won't hurt anyone.
him on the stave there. Keep him still. You live alone? It's better this way. Yeah, my father doesn't like people either. Boy. Well, you don't. Hold him still before he hurts himself. Good. Easy. Rest now. I need two more things. Fresh red root growth just behind the house. Can you pull a cluster? What else? I... I know you're a god. Not of this realm, but there's no mistaking it. He doesn't know, does he? About your true nature? Or his own? That is none of your concern. The gods of these realms don't take kindly to outsiders, trust me. I know. When they find you, and they will, they'll make things difficult. The boy will want answers. That will be my problem. Whatever you're hiding, you cannot protect him forever. But you're right. Doesn't concern me. I also need lamb's crest. Do you mind? It's a white petal flower in my garden. Just a handful. Fine. Lamb's crest. I mean, she lives under a turtle. You are too open with her. We do not know if she can be trusted. She hasn't tried to kill us. Yet. Would this help? I dropped it? When you were chasing the animal. What's wrong with me? If I... If I lost it then... You did lose it. I'll take better care of it from now on. So he's gonna live? Yes. Then we are leaving. Wait. Not without thanks. You want solitude? This mark will hide you from... those who might make your journey difficult. Hey, 
Himmelin. There's a shortcut below the house that leads safely out of these woods. Follow this path down, then head towards daylight. Will we see you again? As much or as little as you like. Now get out of here. Come, boy. This underground passage should put you back on your path to the mountain. Just use the boat. Wait, and take this. You can use it to orient yourself and navigate the world. It will always steer you towards your goals. I see a boat! Mom used to tell me about them. They didn't feel around in real. Nightmares? Yeah. They give people nightmares. Or they are nightmares. She must have some way of getting back to the surface when the turtle's standing. Keep looking. Atreus, to me! Okay, I'm coming! Isn't that heavy? Yes. It doesn't seem heavy. Touch the water. Why? Do you know what is under the surface? No. It's pitch black. Then do not touch the water. Maybe there's a way we couldn't get through before, but now we can't. Get to the mountain quick. I just can't believe I'm here. And all this. There was a time I thought I'd never leave our woods. Or even my own beds. You were not to blame for your sickness. Oh, I know. I guess I'm just saying. This is great.
There's the mountain. Look how close we are. We flow into seawater. How do you know? Do you not smell it? If that smells the sea, the sea stinks. Look at that. It's Thor. Thor. God of Thunder. That's right. I never thought you'd listen when Mother spoke of the gods. I seldom did. Did she speak of one who could feel no pain? Oh. That sounds like Baldur. Baldur. An Aesir god. Son of Odin and Frigg. And Odin is king. That's right. Why do you ask? I make it out. It reads, sacrifice your arms to the center of the water. Awaken again the cradle of the world. What? Throw our weapons into the water? Guess that won't be a problem for you. Are you gonna do it? way over there. See that? And there's a statue of Thor. Except I can see a lot more of him now. The water dropped and the serpent rose. Oh, that must be why the beach wasn't there before. See? And there's the mountain. Look it. That building leads from the foot of the mountain to that golden temple. It was all just under the surface. Except for the statue. Good thing, huh? There's even a dock. There, next to the flag. We're going to the dock first, right? We'll be the first people to walk on it in who knows how long. You know of that serpent? He's one of the giants. He's so big, he's wrapped around the whole world and bites his own tail. An exaggeration. I don't know. Looks pretty big to me. How long do you think this has been here? A very long time. Is this the way to the mountain? It would seem. If it isn't the bearded beaver, it is sack seed. If I got something for you too. Brock? But how did you? None of your fucking business. Now get in here, I got something for you. And don't go making pig eyes at my spot. I saw it first. Okay. What do you think he wants? To test our patience. 
When word gets out about my new shop, folks will finally come out of hiding. They'll be clawing all over each other just to catch a whiff of my wares. You watch. You rust around like that everywhere? Yeesh. Catch! The pile of rocks there? With that key of Yggdrasil, you can open a magic door to the branches of the World Tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see them out in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever throw yourself over the edge of the path. Lest you want death. Yeah. I don't see us wanting that. Sure, that'll keep you out of trouble. I ought to keep them from hacking bits off you. Make you something? You think what you want? Scuff that up. Don't be too careful now. Have fun splitting heads. Careful. Now you can cut yourself just looking at that thing.
Now what else do I want to tell you? Let's get you squared away then. There ain't nobody's twisting your arm. What is this? A horn. Here's the end. Can we blow into it? Without knowing the outcome? Well, we usually push every button, pull every lever we see. Outcomes we can predict. No. This is something else. We must develop your instincts. I knew it! We are blowing the horn! No. We are testing your resolve. I have resolved. A bunch of it. Focus up! Find a cipher. I bet I can figure it out.
Look here. Yes, sir. It's some kind of drawing. Maybe a map? Oh! Maybe a tr treasure map! When the water dropped, new beaches were exposed. We should search them for resources. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, wouldn't she? Yes, she fought. What is that? A spirit. It's talking to us. And it hears you as well. Don't be shy now. You're dead? <laughs> You're very perceptive and reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sailor and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. 
I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. He disappeared. Come, let us not be distracted. It's a fragment of a language cipher. We should look for more like this. So, I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs, only wants. It feels wrong to ignore them. We will get over these feelings. Mom would have wanted to help them. What was that, boy? Nothing. Well, I thought as much. good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember it? Enough. Stories are for the books. We must focus. Yes, sir. Boy. Look here. Huh. Interesting. I may want to write that down. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. What is it, Dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari. Been working out in the Velander mines. Haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me. Wears a fancy green ring. Owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. 
Let's sort you out. The Velander Mines is right through these doors. Might as well have a look-see inside, don't you think? Oh boy, if you got some cleaving ahead of you. Careful! Now you can cut yourself just looking at that thing. Think of me next time you're chopping someone in half. See you next, whereas I see you. Can you read it? Yes, sir. Uh, these rooms read death inside. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. So, Rock said his friend was dwarven like him. Wearing a green ring. Look if you wish. We have the resources for our journey. You don't want to help him? No. Why not? Because I do not run errands for dwarves. Oh. <laughs> Dwarven, but no ring. One of his crew? Scorch marks. There, along the floor and wall. Okay. I guess we keep looking. We? I mean, I'll keep looking. That's a soul eater. If that kills us, that's it. No Valhalla, no hell, no afterlife, ever. It does not attack. Oh. Mom made them sound more dangerous than that. Then do not drop your guard. Come.
Interesting. severed hand attached to the soul eater well we know what happened to Invari now we can just go tell Brock no need to fight it right no we will fight it but why because you are frightened of it This is crazy! How are we supposed to kill something made of rock? Be strong, Atreus. Stay focused, and look for a weak point. Yes, sir. Stronger than you know. Thank you, Father. Let's see if that's the alchemist ring. Can you read it? Yes, sir. These runes were written fast. It spells out... The Gene Stain. Hmm. I don't know that one. We will ask the blue one. So now you're interested? We found his alchemist. A reward was promised.
What'd you find? Brock. Fuck else you need? How come your brother's got half your brand? Cause I ain't in a working relationship with that footlicker no more. I wasn't about to let him use it without me and he likewise. Only thing to do was put the brand 50-50 down the middle. I guess that was the last thing we saw eye to eye on. What? You want a hug? Hit the road. Sorry. Later then. Say, uh, you didn't happen to run yourself a foul of a scruffy fella. About yay high, doesn't feel pain, sounds drunk, but probably just slow. <laughs> hey, how'd you think I feel about it? If I'd wanted Aesir business, I'd have set up shop outside a brothel. Or a fighting pit. Or a fighting brothel. Uh, did he say Aesir? Like gods? No. Be extra careful out there, you two. The roads are teeming with more than usual complimented dead assholes lately. We've noticed. Any idea where they're coming from? Maybe they ran out of rooms in hell. Or could be Odin stirring up trouble again. Or maybe they all got lost. Why don't you ask one while he's chewing your face off? Uh, we'll just be careful. Thought so. Brock, what do you know about the serpent in the lake? I know he's too damn big. Uh, all right. Suit yourself. Sure, I'm open. What'll it be, Shorty? Time for another break, anyways.
Come. On the hair and the tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happened? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Boy, over here. Sir. Kavikia. Alive. Hello. I can't remember the last time I saw something walk these islands that wasn't dead or corrupted. What do you mean? The desolation, child. It plagues this land, growing more severe with each passing winter. Do you know its cause? Not for certain, but I suspect the appearance of the World Serpent, along with the great flood that followed. Many were drowned, myself among them. The dead began to walk not long after. Do you need anything from us? Boy, I only wish to speak to someone again. A wish you have just granted. Thank you. Boy, what did I 
I tell you about offering help? Don't. Correct. But can we this just... This is not a debate. You must learn focus. Our journey need be your only concern. But what if they can help us? That one seemed to know a little about the lake. And how does that help us with our goal? We won't know unless we ask. Story? It can't be any worse than the last one. Very well. There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, the stag. Old. We will finish that later. Okay. Well? Well, what? The brazier? If you must. Boy, over here. Kaveka. I've been itching to see him get theirs. So you died after all the flooding? Indeed. I came to the Lake of Nine to pillage Tyr's temple, but I underestimated the severity of the desolation. Have you seen other men? Living? A bearded one with tattoos? Only the one standing in front of me. Thank you both for avenging my death. Useless. Well... We can't expect them all to know something useful. Maybe we'll find something we can use here. Let's come back. More of those. Good. Maybe the next one will have more information. Keep your expectations low, boy. Spirits are rarely useful. How do they even exist? When you sever a man from his life, it is not always a clean cut. So you've met other spirits? Yes. Many. What were they like? Annoying. So what story were you going to tell? There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, a stag. We will continue another time. Good. Boy. Thank you.
Did I do it again? You... I must speak with you. Another spirit who wants something from us. How unexpected. What's wrong? I came to this lake with a group of tradesmen, seeking refuge from the desolation. But how could we know it was even worse at the Lake of Nine? We cannot undo your mistakes, spirit. I know that. But I fear for my captain and crew. I believe they are still under the water. Will you find them for me? Is there anything you can offer us in return? I... I have little to offer. Oh. Well, I'm not sure... Wait! I died wearing a valuable family heirloom. It's yours, if you promise to find my crew. Deal. Thank you. You are learning. Why didn't you or mom ever tell me about the desolation? I won't speak for your mother, but it was never my concern. Nor should it be yours. Doesn't it concern us if everything around us is dying? Our only concern is reaching the peak. Really? Then why are we exploring all these islands? The resources we find improve our equipment. If we stray from the path, it is only to prepare ourselves for the journey ahead. I can live with that if it means we keep exploring. And helping others. What story were you going to tell? There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, a stag. The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in a saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag, and the horse tasted victory. But the hunter would not release the horse and made a slave of him. So getting revenge cost him his freedom. Hope it was worth it. It was not. Let's do it. And for Junior? Got them dead. With arrows. Enjoy. You think what you want? Keep them from hacking bits off you. Yeah, go scuff that up. Have fun splitting heads.
fix whatever you let my brother do to it. Go get him, miss. Well, what else were we talking about? <laughs> I can read what this says now, but it's a name. Rota! Whoa! The name made it light up. It is not a name I know. Me neither. Huh. Very well. There was a tale of a frog. His pond had dried up, so the frog and his son left to find a new home. They found a well. The son saw the water and made to jump in, but the father stopped him. He saw the well was deep, and once inside they would not be able to escape if the water dried up again. Wisely, they moved on. That's it? Yes. It's really not a story. If the sun jumped in, it would be a storm. Then he would be trapped and starve while the father watched helplessly. See? That's a storm. Come, boy. What'd you find?
You're an alchemist. I'm sorry, Brock. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul eater inside. And, well, it must have burned away the rest of him. Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? Naturally. Naturally, he says. Miani for Uxi. I'll take a closer look at this here ring. Maybe Anvari left a bit of magic inside for he croaked. Dwarves can do that? Sure, dwarves and magic jewels is like flies and pig lips. Supple ones. Ugh. I'm not as interested as I thought. Boy. Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. We jump. Really? are done here. Another one here. Look! It's the World Serpent. He's so much bigger than I imagined. Oh, look! He bit Thor! Or will bite him. Looks like. Can you read it? Yes, sir. I can read these. It says Musbahan, the fire realm, is the gauntlet of the sewer, sir. Like, I still can't read these. What is that? It smells awful.
Oh, what were those things? They smelled awful. Your mother called them scorn poles. Poison magic. She was the one who showed me how to disable them. <laughs> what? It's just funny to think of her teaching you something. Yes. Sure is foggy here. Yeah, come on. Another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, huh. excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left its father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother... <laughs> She would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. <gasps> Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. Filthy. Okay then. I'll just. I will just. 
Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. Oh, what brings you around, friends? Cutting trees. You just cut trees with that, right? Oh, we can't forget you. Now, there is something else to tell you. What speaks to you? Okay, um, come back when you need something, I guess. Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say, Madhurin Sem Gengur, Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, and Don't touch me. What? I didn't. I won't. I'll come back later. Atreus, to me. Smoke this up, boy. I can't tell. Are we getting closer to the mountain? 
We are. stop you. Do you think for this last leg up the mountain that maybe I can carry her? I told you no. Why? She meant more to me than you anyway. What? I, I just meant I spent more time with her. You were off hunting a lot. I will serve you to stop talking.
father? Whoa, I can see why mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? We must find another way up. The witch! Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. We're going to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while. We'll use this. Graythaw. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. Just give that a turn. There. Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. 
destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. You know, we actually talked to the World Serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back to go. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Dios! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Tyr's Temple. Built with help from the Giants. Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled. Save for the Reavers. Savage enough to survive in such a world. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Good. Now push it back into place. <laughs> now realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. What? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy. You're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the dead. We heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Could Vanir magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait, so did the giants or the elves build Tear Stump? All the races helped with its construction. 
It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Leosa. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of Alfheim, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. Talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree, and make travel between the realms possible. Okay. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the Light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes. The wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel rune that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the Realm Travel Bridge will align, and the Realm Between Realms will open.
See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And you're able to make that black light go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get it off. Hmm. She's not dead, is she? Not likely. Come. Look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. <laughs> 